The Ateneo Blue Eagles and the De La Salle University Green Archers will clash on Sunday at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. The biggest rivalry of the UAP will be ending the Season 80 Men's Basketball Tournament eliminations. The Blue Eagles are currently undefeated in the league and they won against the Green Archers by 1 point, 76-75. Matt Nieto's free throws in the last 3.9 seconds of the game sealed the win for the Blue Eagles in their first round matchup. Heading into this rivalry match, the De La Salle University Green Archers are on a six-game winning streak after losing to the Blue Eagles. The team statistics of both the Blue Eagles and the Green Archers are very close, especially offensively. Both teams have been consistent on their field goal and free throw percentages throughout the season. However, the Green Archers have crucially improved their rebounding from the first round with their newcomers Santi Santillan aiding Ben Mbala and Richie Rivero in offensive rebounds. For the Blue Eagles, they have decreased their turnovers that plagued them in the first round heading into their last elimination game. It will be a test for Ateneo, the number one defensive team, to lock down La Salle, the best offensive team. Based on the first round matchup, the Blue Eagles headed into the second half up by 7 points, but they struggled to contain the Green Archers in the second half with Nieto's free throws being the match decider. Aldrin Malesha sat out of the first round game as he was still not fit to play after being diagnosed with dengue. Malesha will finally be back to match up with Nieto in orchestrating the play of the Green Archers. Nieto, on the other hand, is one of the best point guards in the UAP. Nieto is better than Malesha statistics-wise, making this a challenge for Malesha to best his former UAP juniors rival. Between the two starting small forwards of both teams, Ravenna and Rivero lead their teams in bringing the energy into each game. Rivero is a notch better offensively with his outside shooting, but Ravenna has been more dominant on the glass with his rebounding. I think the biggest thing for Ateneo is that they need to control the pace. So they currently play with like the slowest pace in the league, but they don't win games by um, running the teams out of the arena. They play by a methodical offense. They use like every possession in the most efficient way possible. So I think they really need to stick to Coach Tab Baldwin's game plan of ball movement, um, not being selfish because the team has a tendency to um, ha be selfish um, in the first quarter, like against like against UP, um, the selfish play um, was one of the reasons why they couldn't um, get an edge. And like against the Sal, they can't be selfish. They can't um, play um, hero ball. So I think the sticking to Coach Tab's um, offensive game plan um, will really help them um, maintain the pace. And if they maintain the pace, if they maintain the pace to the to the side that they like, I think they can win against La Salle. Uh, for me, I think for La Salle to have a chance on their second meeting against Ateneo, I think they would have to start strong and more players will have to contribute aside from Ben Mbala who's been a threat all season long. And they have to keep playing at a high rate since now they have a six game winning streak and hopefully they can continue the momentum. As Ateneo is one win away from sweeping the eliminations, La Salle looks to best their rivals and give them their first loss of the season. Stay tuned to Raptor Sports for live updates of the game on Sunday, November 12 at 4 p.m. Follow Raptor Sports on Twitter. This is Beatrice Gaw, Raptor.